Hey everybody, it's Cheryl. I just wanted to do a quick screencast and show how easy it is to make monograms in Cricut Design Space. So to start, I have a blank um, canvas open and I'm going to put the link at the bottom of this video um, where you can find my favorite 30 free monogram fonts. So I downloaded a few of my favorite and today I'm going to use like an inner um, interlocking monogram that's what we're gonna make um, I can show you how to make a circle too so that's what we're gonna do and you can use those um, that link at the bottom to download the fonts they're free um, to use for this so first of all um, we are going to add a text box and our first initial now monograms go your first initial your last initial and then your middle initial so that's what we're doing first with C and then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna choose my font. I choose system because this is mine. So I am using this monogram KKSC font right here today. Okay, so we have our pretty C, and I also just go move that to 1.25 is kind of just my standard for the um, to get your sizing correct because the middle initial in a monogram is always larger. So, so here we have our C, which is I'm gonna make it pretty, guys, because it's all about being pretty. How about pink? Okay, we're gonna be pink today. So there's my C, and I'm just going to, while it's selected, I'm gonna duplicate it. And that's just because I am going to make, double click that and make that my middle initial, since my first and middle initial will be the same size. Now, I'm gonna duplicate that one more time, and I'm going to make that my last initial which is S, and I'm going to change the height on that to 1.75. It's just the, that half inch is a really good ratio. Um, see here, and then I just, I just move them together. Now, there's several different types, um, monograms, you can do all different ways. So there's ones um, that would be like all equal spaced. So um, let me align these really quick. I select all three come up here and I'm going to center vertically sent there so that could be a monogram right there just like that um, or you can do what they call kissing which is when these first and middle initials just kind of just barely touch the last initial and again I'm going to just center those that's kissing a kissing monogram but if I'm going to do an interlocking monogram what that is is when the letters actually intertwine a bit so you can see how they're all interlocking like so so let me oops select all three and I'm going to center vertically and now the most important step because right now if you were to cut this it would cut three individual letters um, here I'll show you exactly what it's gonna do it's gonna mess it all up right that's not what we want at all so we're gonna cancel that we're gonna come over here and we're gonna weld them all together so now your machine is gonna cut it as one single piece versus three separate initials so that is how you do an interlocking monogram. Now I will show you a um, I will show you a circle monogram because these are kind of fun. So for these, I use this round monogram, and there's three different fonts actually with this. You get a center initial the left initial and the right initial so that it makes a circle so for this one um, I'm going to use the left and make a C and then I'm going to do a text box again make my S choose for center and my L mine is kind of weird my because that because the L doesn't make a really good circle I'm gonna um not do my L and I'm gonna do an M how about that there we go. Okay, so um, I don't. Oh, that's still in center. That's why. Okay. Um. Right. All right. There. See. Let me show you what the L would look like in that. Right. See, you don't quite get the because there's no side over here, so it kind of looks silly. So I will do. I'm gonna do that M again, just so we can make it look like a real circle. Okay. 
So for the circle monogram, you don't really need to go through, um, you can change all the sizes to whatever you want because they're already kind of proportioned correctly, whereas this one we had to do it ourselves to make the center one a little bit larger. So um, with this guy though, we are gonna select all and center vertically, perfect. And then my trick, oops, got a little jumpy there with the arrow keys. So there you go. When you push them all together, they make a circle monogram. And now this, for this one, I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger so we can see it better. And obviously, um, I'm gonna make it pretty, guys. Let's do purple for this one. Hmm? Okay, because it's all about being pretty. All boys here in my house. I have to make things pretty when I can. So for this one, um, we can't weld it because there's there's no paths that are overlapping. So what we need to do with this one, because same as last time, if we were to cut it just like this, it would cut it as a hot mess. So we don't want that. So for this, what we need to do is we need to select all three initials and then we need to come down here into the layers panel and we need to click attach at the bottom. And that's telling Design Space, I wanna make it just like I have it designed. So here you see it all together. So when your paths cross each other as the interlocking monogram, um, it's, it, you weld. And when your paths do not cross, when they are separate, you need to attach. So have fun monogramming all the things. Oh, one, one note, um, when you make this, if you're doing iron-on, don't forget to mirror. Thanks.